Engineer 775 here at an undisclosed location. I'm working on a, a retreat. Um, basically installing an outside wood boiler and a generator. You can see I'm just at the stage of pouring concrete. I'm waiting on a concrete truck so I thought I'd shoot a little video. Um, designing a, a retreat um, for me includes many things. Energy, power, heat, cooking, water, you name it, it goes on and on. So I'm pouring two pads today, one for a generator and then uh, one for an outside wood boiler. I'm excited about this boiler. This is the first um, gasification unit I've installed and this one is uh, a central boiler. It's a ECL 3200. That's a very efficient outside wood boiler. The pad's quite large because I'm pouring a little apron around the edge, three foot by three foot. And for outside wood boilers, you're pretty much from the boiler to the house is all pretty much the same. But this unit, I'm real excited about it. It'll burn about half the wood. And it's EPA certified, qualified. And I'm um, looking forward to getting this set on this pad next week. So anyway, when you're designing a retreat, uh, one of the things I like to do is tell people don't do one piece at a time, but look at this whole system and uh, figure out your, your loads, your heat loads, your electrical loads, and to uh, make an efficient retreat. And for this one, we're shooting for running uh, continually uh, for one month off of diesel. And, um, and then we have some other backups as well. But for now, outside wood boiler, generator, pads being poured here in about 15 minutes. If you have any questions about retreat design, I'd be happy to try to help you. Okay. Okay, we've got the. Just picked up the uh, Armstrong generator. This is a Kubota, four cylinder Kubota, 30 kilowatt generator. It was spec'd out for the Army, and they decided they didn't, uh, it wasn't going to work for their application. It's an awesome system. Kubota engine. It's got a, a deep sea. Electronics panel here, auto, manual, and uh, exercising circuit. It's got a, they added a extension on the fuel tank. It's waiting on the skid steer to come pick it up. I think we're ready to set the first, uh, my first install of a gasification unit. And uh, I think we're in location here. We got the trailer level and trucks locked up. So we're about to set this baby in place. Can't, don't do this by yourself. You need some help. Okay, we're one step closer to getting the retreat hooked up here. And uh, the boiler is sitting and uh, probably about a couple hours of hooking up in the back with the pumps. But it's a nice setting. These things uh, blend right into the environment. And uh, got an electrical hookup to do here. And a grounding rod to put in, and uh, then I'll be hooking up a return pump to this port, most likely, and then a return here 